hello welcome back welcome back to the video tutorials i am shaji in this program we are going to see in this c program we are going to see some uh, array manipulation here we are having two arrays in this video we are going to see how to copy the value from one array into another array Here we have the usual include files stdio.h and conio.h stdio.h is having the declarations of standard input output and conio.h will be having the standard declarations of the console input output. So here is our main function, the starting point of the C program. So here we have declared some values, variables and we have two arrays, array 1 and array 2 with size 5 each and two variables i and j. We are using CLRSCR here for clearing the screen and here with these statements we are assigning some values. We are assigning some values to the arrays. Okay. I am going to give the values, change the values uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can give some values, some numeric values because this is an integer array. We are going to give some integer values here. So in the array, the very first location of an array by default it will be 0. 0th location will be holding a value of 1 and the first location will be having a value 2. Second location will be having a value 3 third location we are assigning a value 4 and in the fourth we are assigning value 5 these 1 2 3 4 5 are the values which we are assigning to this array in its different location the zeroth position will be having 1 first position will be having 2 second position will be having 3 third position 4 and fourth position 5 this is about the arrangement of values in the array and here we have a for loop for i equal to 0 i less than or equal to 5 i plus plus here there is only one statement given within the for loop so we are not going to include the curly brackets here if it is required we can give but it is optional for a single statement one so I'm just going to remove it. We have only one statement here. Okay, this is a for loop. Up to this, this for loop will be executing. The for loop, the starting value of i will be 0 and the ending value is less than 5. So that 0 to 4, 4 plus 0, that is 5. 5 times totally this for loop will be executing and each time the value of i will be changing. The very first value of i will be 0 here also. So the array once the 0th value will be copied to the 0th value of array 2. And in the next iteration of the loop, the first value of first array 1 will be copied to the first value of array 2. So each and every value, this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 will be copied from array 1 to array 2 in this for loop and here we have the second for loop this is for printing all the values here also we have only one statement in the for loop so we are not using any we are not using any uh, what we say any curly brackets here so only single statement we can just give like that so here what we are doing, the position j, the value of j is going to be incremented from 0 to 4 and each time the array 2's value will be printed. So we are assigning the values to array 1, these values and we are going to print the values in the array 2. Let us see what will be there in array 2 now. We haven't assigned anything directly but we have copied from array 1 to 
are there the value of zeroth position is 1 first position is 2 second position is 3 third position is 4 fourth position is 5 whatever values we have given here is just copied from the zeroth one to the first array okay let me change some values here okay all the values are uh, hundreds 400 500 100 200 and so in the output also we are expecting the same values in the array 2 and all of them yeah this is what it is just copied from array 1 to array 2 value of let me do some more modification array 2 array 2 of 0 okay and all of them value of array 2 of 0 array 2 of 1 array 2 of 2 so we are getting the output here whatever value is given in the array 1 each and every value is just copied from array 1 to array 2 this is the program as as i hope the same program is very simple so please try this program in your system and feel the output hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have any doubts regarding this video or anything in c language programming you can contact me feel free to contact me this is my email id it_teacher1 at yahoo.com thank you hope you enjoyed this video bye have a nice day